All righty, folks. Go ahead and mark your right. Big inhale. Big exhale. Keep your march for four, three. Step touch. So we're gonna be doing one of the ones where you keep moving with weights. So I literally just have one set of fives and that's all I'm gonna use, okay? Here's four, three. Now double step touch with biceps. Two and two. Keep it going. Back to a single step touch with kickbacks. Relax the shoulders. Keep it here for eight, seven. We're gonna do some heel digs. Four, three. Heels right, left. Really sit down in it. Warm the legs up. Eight more, here's eight. Seven, then we're gonna go to side taps. Four, three. Side tap and press out. Keep this going for eight, seven, then we're gonna tap to the back, and four. Now, tap it to the back. Keep that going. Here's eight, seven, four, three. March out, out, and in. Hold it here. So I'm gonna have you march four. Squat and kick right, march four, squat and kick left. Get ready, march for four, squat and kick, now left, one, two, three, four, squat and kick, now the right, one, two, three, four, squat, now the left. Right, squat and kick, left, you got it. One more. Now back to the out, out, in, in. Hold it here. So this time I'm gonna have you march four. The right leg will lunge front and in. March four. The left leg will lunge out in front. Okay, get ready. March center for four. Right leg lunge. March left. Left leg lunge. March right. And the right leg. Left. Left leg, march, and lunge. Keep that going. Last one. March out, out, in, in. So we're gonna go from this to lunges reaching right and left. And four, and three, there's two. Now lunges reaching right, left, really reach. Turn your hips and your toes to face the same way. Now we're gonna use our bench for some of our cardio at the end. Side taps. And we're also gonna use it for weights. So we're gonna use it here in the warm up. Eight, seven, get ready to march. Four, three. Now just march your right. Now march behind your bench. Travel a knee. Make sure your whole foot is on the bench. So when I tell you we're gonna do a double knee, down and march, double knee down and march, and then we'll add on to hold what you got. Four. Alrighty guys. Double knee, down and march, other end. Double knee, down and march, other end. Double knee, down and march, again. Now, travel a single knee. So we're gonna do that double knee, down and march. And then you can either march in place or march all the way around your bench. Eight counts, it's up to you. Listen up, guys. Other end, double knee, down and march. Now, give me eight counts around. Double knee, down and march. And take it around or you can march in place. Double 
we'll need that and march. Marching around, doing it one more time. Double knee, down and march, take it around. Travel a kick. So we're gonna work on a Charleston, which is just a step kick, tap back. On the other hand, Charleston, step, kick, tap, back. Four more, and then it's a regular L step. Two. L step. Travel the L. Last one. Now on the other end. Charleston. And hold the Charleston. So we're going to go from here to marching on top. And we'll go into some stretching. And four. Three, here's two. Now, march on top. Big and healthy your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. Stop your march. Let that right heel hang off. Once you got that going on, overhead tricep. Same arm as leg. Good job. Release the arm, switch legs. And once you got the leg going on, change the arm. Good job. Release the arm, release the leg. The right toe comes to the floor. Rock the hips forward, retract the shoulders, sit down in it. Interlace your arms behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades and lift. Feel your chest, feel your biceps. Release the arms. Step back on top, left toe comes to the floor, rock the hips forward, sit down in it. Interlace your hands in front, press forward, round your back, and tuck your chin. Good job, release the arms, shift your weight to the back foot, hamstring, once you got that going on, bring one arm across for a shoulder. Good job. Release the arm, release the leg, switch legs. Once you got the leg, switch arms. Good job. Release it. Step off and march it right. It's right. Alrighty, so come out to where you are not behind your bench any longer. And we're just going to do some cardio right here. So we're going to go back to the warm up. That march four, squatting kick, and then I'll show you ways to make it harder. All right, get ready. Right leg, march for four, squatting kick, left, one, two, squat, kick, right, squat and kick, left. Now, if you want to, you can jog it, and then squat and kick, and you can make it plyometric. Your choice. One, two, three, four, squat, kick. Right. Left. Just a few more. Remember, you can keep it low. Or you can take it up. Your choice. Last one. And march. Step touch. Alrighty, so you can keep it here the whole time, or I'm gonna keep adding on. You just do the ones that are comfortable for you. Now, if you want to, we're gonna squat knee and then hold it. Squat knee and hold. So you'll do your little step touch and then just to a knee and then hold it, okay? Looks like this. Step, touch, knee, hold, hold. Step, touch, knee, hold, hold. Step, touch, to a knee, hold, hold. Step, touch, to a knee. Now, if you want to, hop it. Hop it, to a knee. Hold. Hold, hold. 
Now where this hold is, we're gonna extend and in, working your quad. Looks like this. Over to a knee and in. Over to a knee, extend, in. Over to a knee and keep that going. Now, for the ones that want to, this extended in is going to become two fast front kicks. Woo! Working your balance here. All right, if you want two kicks, over to a knee, two fast kicks, over to a knee, extend, or you can do the kicks, whichever one you like. Woo! Some days your balance is going to be better than others. Extend, over to a knee, over to a knee, last one, everybody step touch, hold it here, so I'm just going to have the right leg will kick front, the left leg will kick to the back, and then when I tell you, you can either jump or a calf pump so that we can switch it. So march it right, four, three, right front, left back. Try to keep your hips square to the front. So when you kick to the back, don't open up the hips. Keep them here. Now if you like, add a little hop in the middle. March it right. 
Awesome. Woo, all righty. I'm gonna have you do a knee smash right two times. Side bend right two times, okay? Here we go. Knee smash. Now bend. Knee smash. And bend. Reach behind your knee. Work your waist. Knee smash. Knee smash. Bend. Bend. Knees. And bend. Knees. You're almost there with this side. One more. I'll do it. And march left. Alrighty. So you know we got a knee smash left. Side bend left. Woo! Big inhale. Big exhale. Two knee smashes. Side bends. It's all left now. Abs are tight as always. Knee. Knee. Bend. Bend. Keep it going. Bend. This will be the last cardio for right now. And then we'll do some weights. One more. And march it right. Right. Alrighty. So I promised you we're going to be doing some weights. Like I said, grab one set. I'm just going to use fives because we're going to keep moving the whole time. When you squat to give weight, you squat, give me a step touch. You always keep the head above the heart. Big inhale, retract the shoulders, add biceps. You got it, curl. Now think about your arms, really curl. Keep this going. Now we're gonna keep the single step touch, but we're gonna change to an upright row. After two. All righty, upright row. Stand tall. Don't break your wrist. Working the shoulders and the upper back. Four. Just the step touch. Catch your breath. Now, just the legs. We're going to do a double step touch. Here we go. Two and two, just like in the warm up. Two and two. Now, starting here at your ears, we're going to add an overhead press. Now, you can either double it or you can do it slow. You're slow. And then of course, that's double. You can do one one way and then do one the other. Last two. Arms come down just the double step touch. Big inhale. And a big exhale. We're gonna go to heel digs, right, left, after two. Heel digs, right, left. Really sit in it. Woo! Retract your shoulders. We're gonna add a chest press. Here we go, together, apart. Together, apart. Twist. Really squeeze, squeeze. Try to touch your forearms. Just a few more. Arms come down, just the heel dig. Woo! All righty. Side tap, right, left. Retract the shoulders. We're going to add a side shoulder raise. Here we go. So it's up, down. Now if you need to, you can do one arm at a time. Or both arms. Up to you. Palms face. 
place the floor. Four to go. And then we'll rest the arms. We'll keep the legs. Arms come down just the legs. Woo! Alrighty, so we're gonna do a tap to the back. And then we'll end up adding triceps kickbacks. We'll get the legs going first. Tap it back, right, left. Elbows are up, retract the shoulders, kick it back. Keep it going. Eight, seven, and we'll rest the arms. Four, three, just the legs. Woo! Here's four, three, and march it. Alrighty, so I need to scoot my bench up so that when we do this next thing, you'll be able to see me better. So, notice I squatted to do it. I'm just gonna move up some. So when I get to moving, you'll be able to see me a little better. Come all the way over to the side and march. Now we've done this in class before. I'm gonna have you squat in place in that arm. One leg on and tap down. Both on top, wide, and we work our way all the way across the bench. Woo! So, squat to get your weight. Retract your shoulders. Squat it down and up. We're going to add triceps kickbacks. After two, keep the squat. Kick it back. Your hand. You can do both arms or one arm at a time. Sorry, I had to get on the beam. Four. Three. No arms. Just the squats for four. And then we're gonna squat and tap down. Here's two. Squat and tap down. And we're gonna add a double lat row. A squeeze, a squeeze. Woo! Just the legs. Woo! No arms, just those legs. Now I'm gonna have you squat and tap up. Two more like this. Squat and tap up. Arms are up. Low chest press. Just the legs. Just the legs. Now just on top and squat here. Woo! So we're gonna alternate a dip to the back and then we'll add kickbacks. Just the legs for now. Dip, right, left. Only the toe touches the floor. Elbows up, shoulders down. Add the arms. Four. Two. No arms, just the legs. Four. Squat it wide on top. Turn your toes out. Woo. Side shoulder. Woo! Here again, if you need to, 
alternate it. Four. Two. Just the legs. Woo! Now step together toward the right. Squat. Squat. So we're going to alternate those dips to the back. Adding triceps again. After two. Just the legs. Woo! Chest up. Breathing through it. Elbows are up. Retract the shoulders. Adding arms. Four, two, no arms, four, and we're going to squat and tap up, two, squat and tap up, Woo. double lab row, tummy tight, back is flat, No arms, just the legs. Woo! Now, squat and tap down. Woo! Low chest. Still touch. Touch those forearms. No arms. Just the legs. Both legs on the floor. Squat it. Woo! Biceps. No arms. March right. Face your bench. We're going to lunge onto the bench. Right then left. Woo. We're going to add a side shoulder raise. Here we go. Just the legs. Just the legs. Weights on your waist. Now we're going to make this a three and one pulse. Two more. Three and one. Other leg. If you want your weights by your side, that's fine. Chest is up. Shoulders are back and down. Woo! You're almost there. Woo! Just the legs. Three, two, one more. You're done with this. On the floor, march it right. Woo! And. Come on back over here to the front. Step touch. Woo! Let's bring that heart rate down just a little bit. Woo! Now, upright row. Right. All right. 
Put up your dukes. We're gonna do our legs, just like you do lunges reaching, and then we're gonna add punches with the arms. Just the legs, here we go. So the knee and the toe face the same way. Turn your hips, abs are tight. Four, three, add the arms. Just don't overextend. Keep a slight bend in the elbow. Yeah. 
braces to the bench. You're gonna abduct, tap down over the top. Abduct, tap down over the top. Each part is four counts. Four, three, abduct, tap down, over, abduct, over. Now if you want to, shoot the hoop over, or a step over. Back to the front. Whew. 
So I just want your heart rate to adjust some. We'll stretch your legs. We still have lots to do, but it's laying down, so that's why I need your heart rate down. March it right. Out, out, in, in. Big inhale. Big exhale. Four. Three. And just march for me. Now come all the way back to your bench. March on top. Big inhale. Stop your march and let that right heel hang off. We're only going to stretch the legs and I'm going to put movement in the middle to let your heart rate adjust some more. And then release it on top. March it left. Think about that breathing. Big inhale. Big exhale. Stop your march. Left heel hangs off. Stretch those calf muscles. Tummy tight, shoulders back and down, chest up. On top, march it right. Baby step touch on top, watch your bench. Four, three, two, and then freeze. Just the right toe comes back, rock the hips forward, sit down into a nice hip flexor. We're not stretching arms because we're still going to use them. Now release it on the floor. March it left. For four, three, baby step touch on the floor. For four, three, and freeze. Alrighty, so we got to do the other leg. I have to think for a second. Not like this. Yeah. <laughs> Rock the hips forward. Sit down in it. Whew, some days brain just not working very well. <laughs> oh, so you should feel like your heart rate has come down some now. So release it. Give me a hamstring with the leg on the front and don't turn sideways. Stay to the front. Get the hips to the front. Hands up high on your thighs. Good job. Release it. Switch the leg on top. And chest stays up. Head stays above the heart. Good job, release it, and march it right. Woo, alrighty, so you're gonna need your weights, because like I said, we're not done with arms. We're gonna sit on our bench and do a few things, but I am gonna turn the music down just a tad. Woo, alrighty. So, sitting on your bench, we're gonna do a rear delt fly. I think I'm going to turn down here so you can see me better. So, your abs are tight, okay? Your chest is over your knees, and that's taking pressure off your low back. And we're going to alternate a rear delt fly. Here we go. Right, left. Think about that shoulder blade. Squeeze them. Squeeze. Squeeze.
come down. Good job. So come all the way back. Keep your feet on the floor. Lay back on your bench. So we're going to do some bench presses, but to get a little extra work in the hamstring and the glutes, I want you to press through your heels, suck your tummy in, squeeze your glutes. So hold it right here. Now retract your shoulders, and we're gonna do an up two, down two bench press. Here we go. Up for two, and then down. Up and down. Your legs stay the same way the whole time. Now single count, lift and lower, lift, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lift. Keep pressing through those heels. Now keep the single count, but only come halfway up. Half, half, half. Four, three, two. Now all the way to the top, halfway down. Half, up. Halfway down and then all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. Really press through those heels. I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling my glutes. All the way down, all the way up. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bring it all down. You're like, oh, gladly. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna work on our abdominals. So come all the way up, open up your legs, sitting tall, retract your shoulders, and I want you to think about touching the floor with your middle finger, okay? Retract the shoulders. I'm gonna start on the left side. Here we go. Now, don't lift that opposite glute lift off the mat. If it starts to lift up, then that means you are going out too far for you. Keep it on there. Woo! Here's four. Here's three. Get ready for the other side. Two. Other side. Try to touch that middle finger. Do the four, but don't let the glute come up. Tummy sucked in tight. Chest up. Woo. Four. Three. Two. And take a break. Woo. All right. So, hands on the bench behind you. You're going to give me knees in and extend. Knees in and extend. Four, three, here we go. Knees in, extend. Now, you can just stay up like this the whole time. Just keep those knees pinned together and you can keep the feet closer to the ceiling. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you're gonna go flat. Feet closer to the floor, knees pinned together. Eight, seven,
You're gonna lay with your back on the floor and your heels on the bench. Woo! And we're gonna start with some, just some uh, bridging up and down. Woo! Here we go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Lower, lift, lower. Really press to those heels. Four, squeeze your glutes as you come up. Two, now hold this one at the top. Now I want you to pin your knees together. So now you're getting some inner thighs. Down and up, keep those knees pinned. Our knees are sealed, yeah. Our knees are sealed. <laughs> All right, Kelly, that is not what this song is saying. <laughs> Last four, three, two, and bring it all down. All righty. We're going to worry about the upper body. So we're just going to do some crunches. Fingertips behind your head. Here we go. Lift, lower. Exhale every time you come up. You're almost there. Four, three, two, and last one. Good job. So we're going to concentrate on the lower body. We're just going to do a bicycle across your bench. The closer to the ceiling, easier. Closer to the bench, harder. If you need to place your hands under your low back to keep your low back from coming up, please do. Retract the shoulders. Here we go. Just give me a bicycle maneuver. Abs are tight. Suck it in. Now, if you want to make it a little harder, lift the upper body so your shoulder blades are off the back. Keep it going. Last eight, eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. The feet are back on the bench, going back to the upper body. So, fingertips behind the head. You're just going to bring this right shoulder toward the left knee. This other hand is out to the side for counterbalance. Suck your tummy in, retract your shoulders, get ready. Four, three, here we go. Bring the shoulder toward the knee. Keep it going. So we're more, you get a break before we do the other side. Three, two, and one. Take a break. Other arm out to the side. Think about bringing the left shoulder toward the right knee. And four, three, two. Here we get lift. Not the elbow, the shoulder. Four to go. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take a break. Concentrating on the lower part again. Legs are in the air. Point the toes as hard as you can. Alternate a leg drop. Now, I really actually would like you to tap your heel to the bench. If that's not doable for you, just go to the point that's comfortable. And if you need to, place a slight bend in your knee to make it easier. If you want to make it a little harder, lift that upper body. Now keep this going, but now I want you to flex through your heels as hard as you can. And then touch your calf muscle. Or if you can, if you're touching your heel, that's fine too. Just feel the difference. Now back to pointing the toe as hard as you can. Toe. Toe. You're almost done. Four. Three. We'll end with heels. Two. Heels as hard as you can. Last eight. Seven. Breathe through it. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Woo! And 
straddle your bench with your legs. Bring your hands up in the air. Retract your shoulders. Now one vertebrae at a time, I want you to roll up until you're in a sitting position. Look at that. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? Alrighty, let's finish stretching. Whew. So go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Knees are out to the side. Chest is up, and then just lean forward. Get a nice stretch for this inner thighs. Woo! Good job. And then release it. Now extend your legs out in front. Point your toes. Chest is up. Hinge forward. You're gonna feel your low back. You're gonna feel your hamstrings, your calf muscles. So right now, point your toes as hard as you can. You're gonna feel right in here. Okay? Now release it. Flex your heels as hard as you can. Pretend like you're trying to touch your toe to your shin. Now if you can reach your legs and you want to, you feel free to pull them in. So see how you were feeling it more in the back of the leg now, more in your calf muscles? Whew, good job. Release it, sit up tall, arms out to the side. Now I want you to rotate so your palms are facing the ceiling and press back with your thumbs. You're gonna feel it all through here. And now this time I want you to press back so your palms are facing back. You're just gonna feel it at a different angle. Press back through the thumbs. Good job. Now, bring one arm overhead and give me a tricep. And once you got that going on, crisscross your legs and lean the opposite way. So you're also feeling your lats. Good job, release it. Switch arms. Once you got the arm going, you can add the twist. And release it. Arms come down. Now with your legs crossed, I just want you to walk it out in front. I want you to feel that slight stretch in your hips. And then walk it back in. Change the leg that's on top. Sit up tall and crawl it out in front of you. I just want you to get both hips equally. And then walk it back in. Bring one arm across. Let's stretch the shoulder. And release it. And other arm across. Good job. And then release it. And come up onto your bench. Onto all fours. If you don't want to do this on the bench, you can do it on the mat. This is just to make it interesting. And round your back. Tuck your chin. Get a really good stretch for your back. Woo. Good job. Release it. Now, bring your belly button toward the bench or the mat. Head and glutes to the ceiling. Look up at the ceiling. Get a really nice stretch for those abdominals. Good job. And then release it. Now take the right toe and turn it under. I want you to feel your calf muscles. Now, if you want to, you can come all the way up to really feel that stretch. It's up to you. Good job. And then release it. Switch the leg. So now it's the toes on the left foot. Turning under. Rest back if you like. Now, I do want everyone to take both feet back now. Your hands are on your bench. And then you can walk yourself back. Really sit back. Your weight's in your heels. Your legs are straight as is comfortable for you. Feel those hamstrings. Now bend your knees. Hands up high on your thighs. And roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Your head is last to come up so that you don't get dizzy. Big inhale through your nose. And a big exhale through your mouth. Good job. And I just wanted to talk to you guys real quickly because hopefully you've all gotten, I've sent, I've tried to send out text to everybody that um, I'm gonna start teaching at Pump House. So back to in class. 
Yay, in person, yay. So, um, and the good thing there, if you do a monthly draft, it's $27 a month. It's way cheaper than the Y. And that's the gym, you know, Monday through Sunday and all the classes. And they have, like, they already have a total body. Um, they have, like, TRX, AB. They have some kind of a dance. They have yoga. Um, and she's looking to add classes in January because, obviously, that's when everything picks up. But um, I'm planning on doing a couple of step classes in December. And I don't know how many people there will participate or if how many people, how many of you guys will come. But uh, anyway, and then if everything keeps going well, then hopefully maybe in January I'll start some total body and stuff. But I'll keep you guys posted. I just wanted to kind of in case I somehow miss somebody or you didn't really understand. If you have any questions, text me individually so that if I had you guys like on 10 of you at a time. So that every time somebody answers or gives a thumbs up, everybody's phones don't go off. So just start a new text and if you have any questions for me. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you know, new place, new stereo system. <laughs> so anyway, and I think they do mostly things by Bluetooth. So this old dog is going to have to learn some new tricks. <laughs> but anyway, I'm looking forward to it and I hope to see some of you guys in person. Yay! Anyway, have an awesome rest of your week. God bless you. And until we are together again, bye.